Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm here today to tell you about a brand new young adult retelling of Beauty and the Beast called Hunted by Megan Spooner. In the story, Eva's family has lost their fortune, so they have moved far from their town to their father's hunting cabin in the woods. Eva's father was a skilled hunter before he married their mother and became a merchant in order to sustain her high style life. So he's hoping he can cut costs and get rid of some of their debt. So while her sisters hate their new life, Eva feels like the woods called to her, that she never fit into their old town or the snooty society that was there. However, time and hardship has been unkind to their father, and he may be losing his mind. So when he departs on a hunting trip raving about this massive wolf and he doesn't return, Eva knows something has happened and she goes after him. After several days in the woods, Eva comes upon some bloody remains that she just knows are her father's, and in a rage, she attempts to kill the beast who has been stalking her this entire time. She ends up getting knocked out and she's brought to this dungeon where she's taken care of by this mysterious person who will never let her see him. So as the days pass, Yiva forms a friendship with this person and his secrets are slowly revealed, which ends up unveiling all kinds of complications and depths that she could not possibly imagine. But that's all you get to know because you don't want to know the twist. I am a huge fan of retellings of fairy tales because not only are authors taking something that's often seen as old and making it relevant and new, but they're also adding their own flavors to the stories, and it's such a treat to see what a beloved author can see in your favorite fairy tale. Hunted is rather a different kind of fairy tale retelling because it has the slower pace and there's not as much focus on the romance, which is completely emotional. Um, but it's lyrical and it's dark and it's evocative and it's moody and it's a little more complicated and harder to interpret than most of them. I think this makes it a great stepping stone into adult fantasy for your older young adult readers, though there's very little in the way of risque content, so should a younger reader want to read it, they're probably fine. And I think any fan of fantasy or fairy tales will be enchanted by this story.